What's up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today. Um, It is Tuesday, November 5th. It is, according to my clock on my car, 11-17, but it's 10-17. Election day, you guys. So, I told you guys that I took off work today, so we are... I'm actually about to go give me something to eat because I'm a little hungry, so... We have to go get some breakfast, and you guys are about to rock and roll with me while we do that. So, before we get into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel, and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and also by sharing the video, you guys. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's just talk, you guys. So... It's like I said, election day. You guys, I I think I want me a Jeep. I I want to get. I, I'm like I'm actually thinking about getting a second car after I pay this one down. Like once I pay this car down, I want a second car, but I don't know what I want. Like part of me wants a Jeep, but then another part of me is like maybe get a BMW or a Mercedes. I don't know. I don't know what we gonna do. I don't know. But I'll definitely figure out what I want to do. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the election. So if you guys have not, if you guys didn't early vote, today is the day to go out and vote. You guys can go check into my community tab. I did put all the times that you guys can go and vote today in, in your respective states. Um, this election is very crucial, you guys. It's it's the difference between a a former prosecutor and a convicted felon. <laughs> That's the easiest way I can put it to you guys. You guys vote for what you guys think is best for you guys. Honestly, I don't know how anybody can logically say that voting for that man is helpful to anybody. I just don't understand it. But I'm not going to, here's the thing, if you're voting for him, I'm not judging you, I just have a proverbial side out, right? Because y'all want, people say that, look at where the country is in four years of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as VP, right? But I also will challenge you to say, what the hell was the first four, what was the four years that he, he, he was in office? He did nothing about immigration, nothing. The inflation is because of the pandemic that he did not main, handle or maintain did do handle or maintain well. So there's that with that too, right? But that's not even why we came on here to what we came on here to talk about. <laughs> that's not even what this video was about. This video was about Beyonce. So Beyonce, Giselle, Knowles, Carter, girl, you lucky that I love you. And I am a, a huge fan of yours because, <clears throat> girl, you be you, you're trying it, you're trying it, you're trying it. So <clears throat> I'm on Instagram, modding my good old Mary business, and I see that Beyonce done posted visuals for Bodyguard from Cowboy Carter. I was like, I know this helper did not do what I think this helper did. She said, Yes, I did. I was like, Oh, you. You trifling helper. And then I saw a picture of her where she was standing in one of those in one behind one of those step and repeats. And it said no visual uh no no visual award. You really trolling hell. You really trolling Beyonce. Girl, you tried it, but as much as I wanna like as much as I wanna troll you back, I can't because that video it it was good she um she paid respects to you know she gave Pamela Anderson her flowers she looked damn good I know people hate that blonde wig but Beyonce say fuck y'all because she gonna continue to wear her blonde wig and I'm like girl if you want to continue to wear it just continue to wear it it is what it is I don't care so in in the video she's also um urging people to get out and vote you guys because at the end of it she had a little toy gun and it's like those, you know, those old school guns from the, those uh, Westerns 
where it will pop out something up under like a little flag and it says vote so yeah Beyonce is urging people to get out and vote and I'm urging my people to get out and vote again I know some of you guys said you guys have already early voted so cool this isn't to you guys this is just to the people who have not voted right and then I also want to speak towards people who feel as if their vote doesn't count and it doesn't matter it absolutely does count and it absolutely does matter if it didn't count they wouldn't be trying to find any loophole that they can to keep people from voting right so your vote absolutely matters and it absolutely counts now so yeah shout out to Beyonce for that but girl <laughs> visuals I can only give you know I can't complain because I mean we I've been in your comment section on everything that you posted asking for the visuals so I guess she was like I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers asking me for some visuals so here's some visuals take these visuals and leave me the hell alone okay I mean I, I'm you owe us some more videos of Beyonce you owe us some more videos you owe us some visuals from Renaissance I ain't forgot about Renaissance B. I have not forgotten about Renaissance I ain't forgot about Renaissance I'm going to be honest with you guys. I kind of forgot about Car Cowboy Carter. Because here's the interesting thing about Cow Cowboy Carter. I listened to that album the whole first month. Have I listened to it since? Yes, I have. But not now. What The album that I will say that I listened to, the what I listened to Renaissance from the moment it came out to the day of that concert in here in Dallas and to the day of the concert in Houston. I wore Renaissance out. Cowboy Carter, I do have my select songs that I like from Cowboy Carter that I will be like, oh, you know, I ain't listen to this in a minute. Like Jolene, I listened to that last weekend. I was jamming Jolene all last weekend. But yeah, Beyonce, you ain't slick. You ain't slick, helper. So we having a dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. <laughs> I may not like that bastard, but for him... It, but him talking about that Kamala was having a dance party with Beyonce, you're jealous that you don't have any celebrities endorsing. Well, you do have some celebrities in endorsing you. Washed up celebrities, that is, right? You have Hulk Hogan and you have um, Kid Rock. Okay. You got some celebrities. Have a dance party with them. While we have a dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Now, let me also point this out real quick. Because a lot of people were talking about Beyonce. Oh, because the right, more specifically. The right, all last week after Beyonce came out and spoke for Kamala Harris, they were talking about the fact that, oh, Beyonce was, they were telling people that Beyonce was going to perform. Nobody else said she was going to perform. They said Beyonce was going to be in Houston. Nobody ever said anything about performance. They didn't talk about they booed her. They booed Kamala after she came out. No, they didn't. Kamala was not booed. She said something that evoked emotion out of the crowd to boo. And I think it has something to do with, like, um, reproductive rights. I think that's what it has something to do with, with the reproductive rights. But nobody ever said Beyonce was coming there for, to perform. Y'all just, ugh. Again, you guys, get out and vote. That's all I got to say. Vote, vote, vote. Vote, 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 vote. Like Beyonce said, vote. <laughs> but, yeah. That's all I got to say. Um, is there anything else that I want to say about Beyonce? Nah. Nah, girl. Nah, girl. Again, thank you for the visuals. But, um, but, uh, uh can we get some for, you know, Renaissance? Can, can we get some for Renaissance? Can we get some for Renaissance? Speaking of Renaissance, can we, can you put the damn movie on some kind of streaming service? Girl, that movie came out. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Didn't that movie come out last year? It did. Put it on streaming, Beyonce. Put it on streaming. I repeat one more time. Put it on a streaming platform. Girl, you just, you just, oh, sometimes you just, you make me, you make it hard for me to love you. No, you don't. Not really. I'm going to love you regardless, right? Uh... What else? That's it, you guys. That is really all I wanted to say about Beyonce. And, uh, again, <clears throat> I'm urging everybody 
and get out and vote, you guys. You guys know I've already voted, so I'm good. We just chilling today, and that's really it. But yeah, get out and vote, you guys. Get out and vote. Get out and vote. <clears throat> get out and vote. Because it is very important that we do. This man is talking about retribution. This man is talking about it's going to be ugly the first few days. You guys, I just can't imagine him being back in that office. Like Kamala said, he has a hit list. She has a to-do list. He is going after his enemies. He is going after the press. ABC, NBC, CBS, MSNBC. He will go after all of them because they don't kiss his ass unlike Fox News will do, right? He, I mean, you guys saw what he said about Liz Cheney the other day. Now, here's the thing that I will say when it comes to Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney is not my favorite person, right? Liz Cheney nor Dick Cheney are my favorite people. I don't see it for them politically. That's why I will say I draw the line. I don't see it for them politically because I just don't, right? I think they're not, uh, uh, they're, there are things in their policy, in their political thing, in their political, um, I guess you would say ideology, that I don't agree with, right? I here's when it comes to, but I think a lot of Republicans now are softening up when it comes to reproductive rights. I think a lot of Republicans are softening up. They still say that they don't believe in, you know, abortion, right? And to that, I continuously say, if you don't agree with it, then you don't get one. But you don't then try to dictate and tell other women and police women on how to take care of their bodies the best way that they know how to. You don't get that right. And then here in Texas, they want to go one step further and they want to get deep into a woman's business know all of her medical history, know everything about her when it comes to her and her OBGYN. I think that that is an invasion of privacy to know everything there is to know about a woman and her and what's between her legs. That is a complete invasion of privacy. <clears throat> then you see so many women losing their lives because they can't, like the Republicans, the, let's not, let's not call them Republicans. The, the, the MAGA people, right? They want to argue and say abortion is not healthcare. It is. Yes, it is. Do you guys know what a DNC is? When a woman is having a miscarriage, it's the same thing as an abortion. That woman could get sepsis and pass away. And I want people to stop saying that they're pro-life. You're not pro-life. You're not pro-life. Because once the baby is here, you don't care about what happens to the baby. You really don't. Because there are so many kids in a foster care system that they just grow up throughout that whole thing in the foster care and they never find a family. So so you can't say you care. And then also, you can't say you are pro-life when you do nothing about these senseless, you know, um, these masks, pop, 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 You know what I'm talking about? So you can't say that. So I think, like I said, I think Republicans, some Republicans are coming to the realization that, okay, maybe we should put some limits on, you know, a, whim, a woman getting access to the medical care that she may desperately need. But yeah, you guys, that's really all I got to say. Um, get out there and vote. Beyonce, again, girl, where the Renaissance visuals at? Where is the Renaissance film at? And that's all I got to say, you guys. Um, we ain't got nothing else to do today. So I'm going to be chilling for the rest of the day. I don't intend on, I don't necessarily intend to watch the polls. Because I'm just, you know, at, once, the, once the polls close, I don't really intend to watch the results. Maybe I might watch the results in my state because 
we have a very important race that's going on here between our for Senate with Rafael Cruz and Colin Allred. I may watch that because I again I don't understand how that race is close, but it is what it is, right? And then there's another race that I want to watch. Um, it's the governor, and I can't remember if it's North Carolina or if it's South Carolina. It is that that weird ass black man, Mark Robinson. To my people out there in the dish, wherever he in that state, wherever he's running at, to my black people, do not vote for that man. Absolutely, do not vote for that man. That man is crazy. Don't vote for him. <laughs> and it's so interesting that I was watching on Twitter where these guys were asking people, okay, you guys gonna vote for you know who? They said yes. They said, are you guys gonna vote for Mark Robinson? They said, no, he's too extreme for us. I was like, I know you fucking lying. He ain't no more extreme than the man has been lying to you guys for four years saying that he won the 2020 election. Keep that in mind. Only difference between Mark Robinson and you know who? Skin color. One is this, the other is the other is I don't even have, I have orange on, but it's my shoes. The other is orange. But yeah, you guys, that's all I, I really got to say. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and share the video, you guys. And until the next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, you guys. Wash your hands. Be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I wonder if they're gonna show the Real Housewives of New York City tonight, since it is election night. But you know what? That would be a welcome distraction for me to watch. Even though, shout out to D, he calls them Benadryl. But yeah, I'll take them over this. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.